Mark, first of all, it's been two days since we spoke to you after the Tramley defeat. Has that just given you a, a time to reflect on that and, and really analyse it? Yeah, I think it's important that we focus on the good stuff that, we, that we've done. We've got some good players, a good team. We've just got to get back to being a little bit more... Um, a little bit more resilient. You know, we've got to, we've got to do the basics right. Um, everybody knows we're a good football team. We've got, we've got to do the, make sure we do the basics right because without those you can't win a game of football. So we've got to make sure we do those right. And uh, we've got full confidence in, in the players that will we'll get that right. What's that most difficult part for you after analysing a defeat where there's been you know, missed chances and there might have been other aspects of the game that you probably wanted to improve as well? Yeah, I've got, when you look back, we had loads, we had 13 shots in the second half. We had some brilliant chances and we could have got something out of the game right at the end. Um, so it's it's a case of making sure we're, we're a little bit tighter without the ball, not just defensively, it's without the ball all over the pitch. And and, and, and we do basic defensive stuff and, and we retain the threat at the other end of the pitch. I know your staff work hard after the matches to really analyse uh, your position, but for you it must be uh, a difficulty really to get the team selection right going into into Saturday, given the the missed opportunities. That's right. You you're looking for somebody to throw down the a marker and say I have to be in the team because I'm I'm scoring every other game or I'm scoring every game and I deserve to be in the team. So obviously we've got Josh Davison coming into the mix now, as our fans will really really like. He's a real handful. So. Um, so yeah, it's it's a time to reflect. It's a time to to reboot, and and we have to make everybody aware that we have to do the basics right, and then our ability, which we've got lots of, will take over. A trip to Leighton Orient on Saturday, which will be another tough test for us, really, given their their form. They've won eleven games this year. That's probably the most amount uh, outside of the top three. So they'll be really looking to continue to make Brisbane Road a fortress, won't they? Yeah, they're a good team. We've had uh, two good games against them already. Well organised and got some good players. You know, the one thing I've noticed about them lately is they're really starting to play um, with the ball rather than without it. At the start of the season, I think uh, they were they were difficult to beat, but now they've they look as though they did a lot of work with the ball, and uh, and you can tell that with their their possession stats recently. So yeah, it'd be a tough game, but. Great game for us. We're, we're really looking forward to it. Um, two good teams um, going after three points. And in the matches we've played against Leighton Orient this year, you know, September, November, and then now January, it's probably going to be quite a different looking Leighton Orient team. They've made a few signings, Nick Freeman on loan from Wickham being one. They'll be really looking to be out there to impress, won't they, those, those new players? Of course. You know, uh, every team you play against has got real threats and and so you have to make sure you combat those and do the basics right and and then we have to concentrate on what we do and full respect to every team we play late in Orient this week and um, it's going to be a tough game but I think it'll be a tough game for them as well so they'll know that and yeah, can't wait, looking forward to it It's two sides that are really kind of well matched in that kind of keeping the ball you know, possession style of play that we like to, to play here at, at the Innocent New Lawn and the games we played against Leighton Orient this year, it's been there's been some really good battles, haven't they? Yeah, I think in both games, I think the first half in the first game we were really, really good, um, and then the second half they were good, and then in the last game I thought we played really well mm. and probably just about deserved to win. So it's been tight games, um, two good teams, and so hope it's a good game on Saturday. How are the new players settling in? Isaac, Josh, and and, and Bailey, are they kind of fitting into the 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 training that, that you're um, putting through and, and the message you're putting across to them? Yeah, they, they, they're great lads, got great ability. And, um, you know, what, especially with Josh and Isaac, they're, they're coming into a first-team environment and you're giving them sort of taste of first-team football. And it's, it's about how they react to that. And, and, and they've, got to, it's, they've got to try and hit the ground running. And that can be difficult for young players, but that's what we do. And... Um, They've done. They've done fine. Bailey as well has come in and fitted in seamlessly. So, yeah, we're okay. A player like Josh Davidson, you know, having that experience at Woking this year, uh, and then in the Championship um, with with Charlton last year, this level would seem to really suit him. Do you think? Yeah, he's he's a. I would say he's a proper old-fashioned centre forward. Just 
just runs the channels, good in the air, doesn't stop. If a Chris Packet blows across the pitch, he'll chase after it. And sometimes, especially late on in a game, that's what you need. You know, if you're if you're trying to get back in the game or if you're defending a lead, you need a you need a forward that's going to show that real unselfishness to work hard for to get his teammates up the pitch. Uh -huh.